Hey, we're back out in Castleberry. Where the hell are you? Get out here. We're protesting Joe Biden. Hey, have you ever wondered why conservatives don't offer everybody free shit? Because it don't work. All right. Democrats offer you free shit. They know it doesn't work. Um, just like they know racism isn't real. Anything Democrats are proposing either doesn't work or isn't real. So why do they want socialism? So that they can uh, destroy everything, make things tough on you. If they can make things tough on you, then they can uh, offer to help you. And then you'll vote for them. They want to get you hooked on free shit. Even though free shit doesn't pay you very much, it's free. And there's an illusion that they're helping you when they're really not helping you. They're destroying the economy on purpose. You know, why did they push the Green New Deal? How do you, how do you wreck an economy? Um, you jack up the gas, gas prices and make energy uh, very expensive. And that will screw up a whole economy and will make everybody's lives miserable. They do that on purpose as they pretend to be helping. As they pretend to put forward ideas that are supposed to help but doesn't, just makes it worse. So if they can make your lives miserable and they can offer you some crumbs, then you'll, uh, you'll vote for them. That's the intent anyways. Hey, remember how, th how great things were under Trump before COVID? You know what I mean? We had the greatest economy in the history of the country. And look what Biden's done in 10 months. What a racist! You want to see what a real racist looks like? There you go. Look at all that money the government gave him. <laughs> Sucker, those were all one. <laughs> One dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> this guy's mom let rap music be his daddy. Democrats are vile and racist. Racist. Greta Thunberg. She's a speaker for the. For the what? Um, that the global warming. Hey, did you see conference. Joe Biden at that conference? He fell asleep. Yeah. Like a stupid old bastard would. After he, po after he poops his pants. He took a shit and then he took a nap. <laughs> at the uh, Eco Summit. Apparently he met the Pope, shit his pants. It was a big deal. The media's trying to say it didn't happen, which means it probably did happen. I guess there's no way to prove it because he's got so many people trying to cover it up and change his diapers and shit for him. I know. You know what I mean? That's Dr. Jill Biden's job. No. Well, Jill Biden's going to be um, speaking. Where is she going? Oh, she's going to do a Thanksgiving special about cooking Thanksgiving. They're trying to, like, make her just like, you know, she's just a normal... American Fuck Jill person. Biden, too. Yeah. Oh, that's a good thing about uh, FJB. It could be Fuck Jill Biden or Fuck Joe Biden. <laughs> Take your pick. Yeah. Yeah. What a downgrade. We had to go through the media is getting all crazy that says it's so profane and it's, it's like dog whistles for isis and we're terrorists for even yeah. just saying and they actually said what is it teaching the children to say let's go brandon you know what that means never stop saying it i ordered my uh let's go brandon flags i got I mean, eight of them coming worried about the children now yeah like, sure let's they are. go brandon they're, they're worried about children as they um kill millions of unborn babies and they're walking around with the kids, like with their signs, the uh, F Trump signs. Trump 2024. Who? He has like a. He's, he's got, his got his own megaphone. He's got yeah. his own Trump megaphone. Oh, he said Trump 2024. Yeah. Good man. He does. Can you cover up your TikTok? 
<laughs> Let's go, Brandon! Let's go, Brandon! That's it! Let's go, Brandon! Joe Biden touches little kids! <laughs> Joe Biden's a pedophile! The media doesn't care. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon! Does Dick Biden even knows who the fuck Brandon is? No, he doesn't! <laughs> He got a megaphone as well. Does he? <laughs> it's a new thing. If you're going to deal with the lefties, you got to get a megaphone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Read the decal on the back of my truck real quick. Hey, not here. Yeah. <laughs> Joe in the hole. Yeah, we the people are pissed off. <laughs> Fuck Joe in the hole. <laughs> Love it. God bless you, patriot. <laughs> the dumbest idea ever was defund the police and then uh, giving illegals uh, half a million dollars took the cake. I know. That's, that's the dumbest shit ever. Hey, they bypassed black people. Yeah, they didn't even right. think about black people. No, they went people, right by them, Dan. They already got their vote. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is illegals can't vote yet. That's Democrats are working hard on that trying to get that through. I'm surprised they're not trying to force that through while they got the House and the Senate. But they're trying everything. They're just so busy. They're so busy ruining this place. But so, you know what is fortunate is this election's coming up in 2022, so some of the moderate Democrats can't be too crazy. Because they, you know. Yeah. So I'm trying to tell people that Democrats are ruining this place on purpose. The Green New Deal isn't about uh, the environment at all. It's about taking away our gas. Yeah, and energy yeah. because it makes our lives miserable and it, it makes life tough and if life is tough and we're, we have to struggle then then the democrats can come in and offer us free shit and get us hooked on the government that's what it's yeah. all about it's got nothing to do with to the do, environment what they're trying to do is take away america's strength yeah take away coal gas yeah cattle industry the american farmer the cattle rancher because that has been America's strength all these years and they hate freedom and they're trying to turn the United States of America into a third world nation. Mm -hmm. But it's not gonna work because no. we the people are gonna rise up and there's gonna be a rebirth of freedom here in America. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So, uh, pa Patriot Pastor. Yeah, Patriot Pastor uh, on Telegram, number one, at the Patriot Pastor. I'm kind of banned from YouTube for a while. I think it's permanently because they don't like what I had to say. But you, you got three strikes in two weeks, you said. It was, yeah, it was, yeah, it was really three, quick. Th three strikes in 90 days gets you banned. Yeah, it was really So you'll quick. have to get a whole new email and set up a whole new account, and then you can sneak back in and start over. I ain't sneaking <laughs> back into nothing. That's We're going to go on Trump's social platform, and we'll be done with it. Yeah. But, yes, learn how to farm again. Yeah. Let's go back to how things used to be and you know what it should go back we're gonna go back to righteousness and values of family values mm -hmm. here in the United States of America I still say we should just split the country in half and I agree. hey I agree with that let's roll with conservatives it. on the right lefties on the left they can have they can have California Washington and Oregon we'll take the rest of the mm -hmm. country they wouldn't make it a year they'd, they'd have to resort to cannibalism to survive guarantee it agreed well I, if I they can't get they can't get our money from us they're fucked I bet you any money, Jeff, that all the companies that want to make money, including these woke companies, will come over to the conservative side because the conservatives are workers. Yeah. It is what you do with your hand. It's not about free stuff. Mm -hmm. Free stuff, when, when, when the children of Israel were in the wilderness, God gave them manna. People think that's a good thing. It's not. It's called government assistance. Yeah. God said, once you cross this river, the Jordan River, you're going to go over to the promised land. You could have whatever you put your hands to. Whatever you plant with your hands, you could have. So therefore, it's not about free stuff. It's about you putting your hand to the plow. Yeah. So socialism would work if everybody contributed, but it doesn't work that way. Human well, nature. So your flag says, demo rat. Demo rats. Democrat rat. Ha <laughs> ha yeah. It's funny, I was just making an analogy about rats not knowing why the cheese is free and democrat rats they don't know why their shit is free it's the same thing the rat gets the cheese and you get killed well, when you think about it your free shit will get us all killed too because that's where socialism slash communism ends up we all get killed democrat rat mm -hmm. republican can so maybe there's something to do with that democrats fall or the democrat voters fall for it because they want the free stuff the democrats 
Their main mission is to ruin the economy, ruin people's lives, pretend to be helping, and then offer them a little lifeline, a little bit of crumbs, so you know, some free shit, so that it gives they they can give the illusion that they're helping, but they're purposefully making it worse. Oh yeah. And then you'll vote for them for that yeah. free stuff. Well, because because they'll have no way to survive. Yeah. And that's that's the game plan. The game plan is to take people's ability to create their own wealth mm -hmm. and make everybody subservient to the government. Yeah. And then you're screwed. So how come conservatives, Republicans, when they run for office, they don't they don't uh, try to bribe you with free stuff. They don't do that because they're talking to a group of people that understand yeah. the market economy and how important it is. Yes. It's just part of our constitution. We understand why the cheese is free. Yeah. Democrats don't. Are Republicans smarter than Democrats? You're damn right we are. Yeah. Yeah, they don't understand that they're being they're being uh, brainwashed into they're being coaxed into it. With into free into living well, yeah, they they get free and there's no, there's no free lunch. No. You know? <laughs> No. And ultimately, you know what happens to a cheese when it go when a mouse goes after the cheese, gets in a trap. Yeah. And it's dead. Yeah. Well, we're already in a trap because half the country seems to want socialism. They seem to want free stuff. So we got one leg in the trap. It's just can we can we get it wiggle it out of there and get on with our lives? That's their plan. Yeah. Is to totally control you. Once you get to a point where the government controls everything, is which which is what they want. They want the, the illusion of a market economy. They call it a you know, uh, socialist Democrat. Well, there was no such thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you're a socialist, which means that you want to control everything. And these Democrats, they're not the Democrats of 50 years ago. They are not. They think they are, but they are not. They're all socialists now. They're all socialists. That mansion guy, he seems to be a, in cinema. I guess they must be the only two normal Democrats Manchin's left. Mansion's not a Dem Ma Mansion is a Kennedy Democrat. Yeah. Mansion will not go along with this this infrastructure bill. I heard it on the radio today coming over. He well, he won't sign it because he doesn't know what's in it. They haven't seen it. He won't sign it as two things. He said he won't say, he doesn't know what's in it, and he says it's too much money. Yeah, so him and Cinema they want to know what's in it before they sign it. All the other Democrats, they don't even know what's in it, and they're already ready to sign it. What did Pelosi say? Yeah. Pelosi said we gotta, we gotta pass the bill so we can find out what's in the bill. Unless- Wasn't was that Obamacare she said that? Yes. Yeah. Yes, but but she didn't say that when Donald Trump was in office. She scrutinized the bills then, when the Republicans were in charge. She wanted to scrutinize everything that was in those bills. Yeah, they're still trying to scrutinize Trump. Yep, even now. Yep, Trump still lives in their heads, rent free. <laughs> I love it. He always will. <laughs> he always will. Yeah. What's happening, Brenda? Much. How you doing? I'm doing good, but yeah. the whole rest of the world's gone batshit crazy. Yeah. Did you see uh, Biden went over uh, to see the Pope shit himself, and then he went to the uh, environmental meeting and fell asleep? Well, they that's a rumor that he shit himself. Yeah. It's well, rumor. the media said it didn't happen, so it must have happened. Yeah. Bottlenecks here. Well, bottlenecks here. Hey, guess who pooped in his pants? Biden. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Guess who? Poopy See, Pants Biden. Yeah, the Secret Service carries around a bag full of the pants. Mm. Yeah, did you know that? Imagine having that job. No. Changing Biden's diaper. And he was late because he was fooling around with the elevator uh, for the Pope. Uh -huh. He pooped in his pants. Yeah. Did you see him fall asleep during the meeting? Yep, fell asleep. and Somebody then he had to go wake him up. Checked his watch under uh, the English Prime Minister was talking. Wow. The guy is He's just- He's a rude, crude, uh, senile, old, dipshitted bastard. Did you see what the Pope did to him? Pope knows English, but he wanted a translator. Hmm. Oops. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he was just fumbling and stumbling when he was talking. I don't know. The Pope had a translator, and every Pope the, knows uh, how to speak the, English. The Pope told Biden he's a good Catholic, even though he, he uh, kills millions of babies all around the world yeah, well, the, with our tax dollars. He gave the Pope some money to buy a soda. Mm. Yeah, that he got from his deceased he husband. He probably gave the Pope uh, some little kids to sniff. No, he gave him a coin with the seal of the United States that his son, Bo, who was killed in combat, the guy's out of his mind, who really died of cancer, mm -hmm. um, wanted him to give to the Pope. Did Biden say he died in combat? Yeah. Oh so he God. could uh, buy a soda. The guy is out of his mind, dementia. Fuck Joe Biden. I mean, let's, let's go Brandon. <laughs> let's go Brandon. I ordered my let's go Brandon flags. They yeah. should be here in a few days. I got eight of them coming. Where are we going to put them? Are we down? <laughs> yeah. I should have ordered 50 of them. Yeah. We could have replaced all our flags with Let's Go Brandon. 
Hmm, that's an idea. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. All right, I have to get back on eBay. Yep. Get more of those suckers.